She on a V. What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be doing a full walkthrough on how to make a cartoon head, like always. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. First thing you want to do, you want to drag and drop the picture you use after you do that. You want to drop the opacity down on your pick. Just good enough where you can see it, but your line workers stand out. So after you do that, you want to lock that layer. Come down here, create you a new layer right above it. And if you're using a digital art tablet like me, I'm using a UG tablet, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put it on the screen so you can see the one I'm using. Yeah, that's what I'm using. And if you're using a digital art tablet, you will be able to get the pressure option you finna see me do. So if you're using a digital art tablet, what you wanna do, you wanna come right here. You wanna hit new brush, hit okay. And then you wanna go to pressure. And then you want to type in three. Then you want to come to the other side, hit three, and hit OK. It should give you this brush you see me use on every video. OK. Now that we got our brush, let's bring the size down to a 0 0.75, 75. And now, what I'm going to do is hold Control and press the plus sign and zoom in. Close as we can. And we finna do all the line work. I, I need to make that brush even smaller. So let's go to let's see. Let's make it smaller. Make it smaller so we can get it. Now what we finna do is go to our pencil tool, double click onto it, make sure your settings look like mine's, hit okay. Move this color black to the top and make sure the bottom color is locked right here. And now we finna do all the fill in work using our pencil tool. And all you do is you draw a path See, I'm drawing out a path. And then once I finish drawing out my path, I go back and I close it off. And it'll fill in that area. So we're gonna do that around the entire picture. So let's go.
Now that we finished with the pencil tool, I'm gonna go back to the brush tool and make it a, let's go ahead and close off the neck area with our little drip effect. Brush to the smallest we can get it. So we can come up here and we can add finer details. Now we're finna go back to the pencil tool. Move our color black to the top. Make sure the bottom one is locked. And we're gonna put a 3D effect behind the drips. Now that we finish with the line work, what we finna do is we gonna highlight everything we just made. Go to object, expand appearance, and then you wanna click merge on your pathfinder. So we can make all our lines become one. Let's hold shift. Size down a little bit. Move it over. Now what we're gonna do is let's make a copy of our line work. Lock the top layer. Make sure you got the second selected. Let's find us a nice base tone for the skin. rectangle tool and drag that color over the entire picture right click the color go to arrange and send to back you'll know if you did this step right if you look over here at your layers and you see your line work sitting on top of the color after you do that you want to highlight everything and then you want to click merge on your pathfinder so the color can become one with the line work. Now after you do that, right click the color and go to isolate selected group. Now, what that mean is every area that's closed off is its own group. You know what I'm saying? So now we can change colors and delete colors we don't want individually. So let's change this eye color selecting it hold shift to select more than one thing at a time Get the color white let's change this lip colors
And while we on our color layer, what we finna do, let's hit this drop down menu, hit it again, scroll down till you see your last black line work. And we're gonna lock only the black layers. So let's lock all the black line work. Keep the top two unlocked and close it back. Now let's go to our white selection tool right here. And we're gonna delete the colors that's trapped inside the hair. Without making a mistake and deleting our line work. Now, let's make a copy of our color layer, lock the bottom color layer, turn the eye off, go to the color layer that's in the center, and let's delete the skin color out of this layer. Zoom in so we can make sure we're deleting all the colors that's trapped inside the hairs. Now what we can do is, let's turn the eye back on on the bottom layer. Let's create us a new layer and we're gonna put it in between the bottom layer and the layer with the eye and lip color that we just left. And that's this gonna be our shadow layer. That's why our shadow is gonna start. So let's sample his skin tone and let's find a nice dark shadow from that. Let's see. our pencil tool make sure the bottom layer is locked and the color is on top I'm gonna start making our shadows and all I do is I look at the picture the original picture and everywhere I see the shadows that's why I place them on my artwork Every time I create a new shadow layer, I put it under the one I just made. So I go from dark to light. And the lighter I go, I keep making new layers for it. So, sample the skin tone again. Let's go to our 
dark shadow layer. Just highlight all the dark shadows we made. While we got them highlighted, go to edit, edit colors, adjust color balance, preview. Then we need to try to make it blend better. Sample the skin tone. I ain't gonna go too dark this time. Create us a new layer right underneath the top line work. 
so we can do the shadows inside the eyes and the lips. Let's create us a layer at the very top. And first, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a glare inside his eyes. So, with our pencil tool, make sure the color's at the top and the bottom one is locked. Let's create him a little glare. There's one more layer and we're gonna do the hair effect. So what you want to do, you want to go back to your brush tool, come over here to a gradient on your swatches, find the black and white gradient on your swatch, create three adjustable layers, make the corners black, but have it fading into a color. right there and we're gonna make the other side match it kind of like okay. okay that's perfect we're gonna bring it close We got our brush created. Let's test it out. Make sure your brush that you just created is at the bottom. Okay, now we got our hair brush. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and add some detail. thing too if you want to change the flow of your strokes I got to do is highlight it make sure you select it over here come right here and change these numbers See how my strokes are off. I'm just highlight it over here and do the same thing. Holding up on my keyboard so I get the strokes to flow exactly how I like them.
also I just went to my pencil tool make it easier There you have it, you guys, how to make a cartoon head. Make sure you stay tuned. Mohi coming soon, and I'm out this thing.